The cost of fuel in the country has remained relatively high since February, and this has been seen as the major cause of the high cost of basic commodities. Currently, a litre of diesel costs between 5,500 and 6,000 shillings, which is the same as litre of petrol. Diesel was previously cheaper than petrol. Government has seemingly ignored suggestions from the public to either reduce or hold taxes imposed on fuel and crude oil on grounds that such an attempt would have dire effects on the economy. Opposition leader Robert Chagulany says it is high time government is involved in fuel pricing in a bid to address the high cost of living. Government must impose control on stocking levels and pricing decisions. I mean, no responsible government continues to just cry and lament on forces of demand and supply when the Petroleum Supplies Act allows the government to do something. Chagulanyi says government has allowed petroleum companies to set higher profit margins which has subsequently affected consumers. The companies are setting whatever prices they want while the regulator is quiet. This is not a mistake, ladies and gentlemen, because the same people who are supposed to regulate are actually the same people in the fuel business. He is also asking for a tax suspension on crude vegetable oil and wheat. This will help to reduce the prices of essential items like chapati. The ghetto people in our cities, in the towns and the trading center, the centers largely survive mainly on chapati, which also makes chikomando and makes Rolex. This policy decision is very urgent and indeed long overdue. Suspending taxes could lead to revenue loss, but Chagulani says this can be accommodated by cutting classified expenditure, for example at presidency level. In his State of the Nation address today, President Museveni has re-emphasized that cutting taxes, especially on imports, is suicidal, and that the high cost of living can be solved through other means, including engaging global actors that have contributed to these artificial shortages. Now, until this happens, Ugandans will have to endure the high cost of living, at least for now. Daniel Kibet, NTV.